Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's always a pleasure for me to be greeting you and bring this message of emancipation to you. Whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you concerning how you should feed your mind every day. Because each and every day, we make sure that we get water to drink and we make sure we get food to eat because we want to take care of our physical being. So we acknowledge that we are physical beings also. We must recognize that we are spiritual and psychological also. Therefore, as your body nourishes from the food that you eat and it stays hydrated by you drinking water and you continue being alive because you're breathing in that oxygen and you're giving off that carbon dioxide. And so, as you nourish your body by giving your body the right kind of food, so too you must nourish your mind. So too you must feed the mind. Because you're both spirit and matter because you are a mass of energy and everything is energy vibration and frequency and everything that has ever been created or invented it came from spirit which is energy to matter which is solid that is why I'm encouraging you each and every day to feed your mind with your right thoughts. Feed your mind with something that is motivating, something that is uplifting. Even if you have to listen to some motivational speaker very early in the morning, program your mind with that kind of nourishment, with that kind of food. So you have the right thing to meditate upon throughout the rest of the day. Start your day right by feeding your mind with the right kind of information that you need to carry throughout the day. And so my brother, my sisters, just as a person would have to like go to the gym and exercise or stay at home, like in my case, I, I do it at home. And you exercise your body and you eat good and keep your body in good health so too you must exercise your mind so all of this kind of information that has been shared on the internet is to help you to exercise your mind it's to expand your awareness it's to help you to realize that you are more than you really think you are that you are powerful And that is why you have to feed every day on uplifting, motivating, overcoming things. Because we are all here to solve problems. Because each and every one of us have to face different problems. And the more problem you can solve in the life of others, more value you'll be producing to humanity. And that is why my brother and my sisters, I would encourage you to exercise your mind every day. Like for example, I have a, a book here, which I would recommend that anyone should read this book. 
Okay, this is it right here. You'll not be able to see the name from here, but if I hold it like this, you might be able to see the name. Okay, is the magic of thinking? No, no, it's not the magic of thinking, Mick. Sorry, uh, the magic of believing. This is the magic of believing. Okay, by Claude Bristol, and I'm very grateful to the person who um, sent these books for me. And I would have listened to this book. Early, okay. When I start becoming more aware, I would have listened to this book, The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol, and I, I would have always loved it because it really resonated with me. And I, I used to be listening to The Stranger's Secret by All Nightingale and listening to James Allen as a man thinking. You know, those are some of the early things I used to listen to and, and the power of positive thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Those were all the uh, uh, information that I was feeding my mind with. And I used to listen to people like even Tony Robbins from a very, very early, early stage. Feed my mind with positive things. Because great minds think alike. That's why I'm encouraging you, if you can read even just a chapter or a page a day, it's good. Try and read, read even a page a day. It will help you. And I'm saying this too because I want to be a part of one who would be able to stay faithful to reading a chapter a day. I realize that a lot of people have been robbing themselves from information. Though we are living in an in a, in a age of information, all the information is right there. Many people are not disciplined and people need to be disciplined. And it takes us reaching out to people and give them, you know, a different perspective to look at this thing from so they become you know more aware that they really need to exercise their mind by continuing reading you see sometimes people just as they got a, they, they get a job they forget all about reading okay but it's very very important if you can read something every day just to exercise your mind I've listened to you know, add your books many times of this same book here, The Magic of Believing, okay? But when you, hold, when you hold this book in your hand and you read it and you take your own time and you read it and you really exercise your mind and think upon what the writers really, really say in here and what I've been teaching, you realize, you know, that you're definitely a magician. That you're definitely a spiritual scientist working, you know, with spiritual laws. And you must always remember the golden rule of life is to do unto others as you have them do unto you. You see, um, I think books are a very good tool and I've always, you know, asked persons to donate if they feel, you know, let to donate, you know, whether it's it half dozen books or uh, any amount, you know, be quite grateful to help to expand, to help to grow, to get a little bit more information, you know, because there's not much people who have access to books like those that they can actually hold it in their hand, okay? In order to, you know, bring anything into this country, you have to realize that the tariff, the tariff is very, very high. It's very high. So very few people might be, you know, willing enough to always commit themselves, you know, to other things like, like that. Because for them to know that it's so important, it means they have to have some sort of information even from before they must have a foundation. Some people don't even have a foundation. 
to know how important it is to really exercise their mind. Okay, they're so busy. They wake up in the morning and then stay straight to work. And they would have just left school and from school to a job. But we need more empowering minds. And that is why my encouragement to you is to feed your mind every day. Exercise your mind every day. Do something positive every day. Which means there must be a time of the day that you are isolated. You are all by yourself. Very, very important. It could be done in five minutes. It could take five minutes. Five minutes. You can read something from a book just for five minutes or ten minutes the most but i guarantee you in five minutes you can read and get something to think upon so my brother my sisters the the point i'm trying to get across is like as we feed and nourish our body so we have to feed and nourish our minds as we exercise and build our body so we must exercise and build our mind expand our mind our inner consciousness, our true essence, because all is consciousness. And we know that truly imagination creates reality. And when you're reading from a, 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 a writer who's writing a message to you, it's all coming from his imagination. He's sharing his thoughts with you. And they always say, great mind think alike. So my brother, my sisters, the message is exercise your mind as you exercise your body. Nourish your mind as you will nourish your body. And remember to do it every day. Feed your mind every day with the right stuff. So with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much. And I, I hope what I'm saying that it makes sense to you and I'd like to say to you if this is your very first time and you haven't subscribed already I'm encouraging you to subscribe to like to comment or to share this video also if you would like to follow me on Instagram you can follow me on Instagram at black mad guru also if you haven't checked out my patreon we have a patreon that you can check out what kind of videos are there on it because I have videos that are not on and and, and YouTube okay and whether is it you're donating, whether is it two dollars or five dollars or ten dollars, okay, you have access to information. And then those who have even more uh, um, option, those who are donating, like say twenty dollars or more, they will have the option of listening to the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously. They will have access to that, you know, that kind of information. So it's all up to you. Just follow your spirit. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I would also like to say, if there's any other way that you would like to support this work, we have a, a PayPal and the link is right down below for you. So feel free to check it out. So with all of that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. I love you all. And out.